Uh, P1, um, I'm doing wrap boots for the uh, recruitment documentation um, for the number seven business manager. Um, the number seven, it tells you all about the brand and everything you need to know about what they sell and all the products they have on offer. Um, the next heading, it says what's in it for you. This, during this part, it's drawing you in on more of the benefits for working for them and an insight on what they do and what they can provide for the lucky candidate. <coughs> for the next part, it says the day-to-day -day responsibilities. This is the part, the responsibilities you will have to face on a daily basis. Um, also the responsibilities you need to do to inspire the customers to also come back to the store. Um, next, it says our, our ideal candidate. This is where they tell the candidate what they're looking for in the person and to be successful and how you can do this when um, preparing yourself for the interview. Um, their ideal candidate um, says from being in leadership to having knowledge on the number seven products and have a friendly and engaging personality. P2, describe the main employability, personal and communication skills required when applying for a specific job role. To apply for the RNLI, the main employable applicant needs to be confident, hardworking, courageous and determined for the task in hand. The applicant needs to be strong-minded with a vision for success for this specific job role in the RNLI. All RNLI candidates must be strong, fit and have good eyesight and no undeniable health issues such as epilepsy, Parkinson's disease, deafness or speech difficulties. Candidates must be able to swim 200 metres in 3 minutes 30 seconds and 200 metres on sand in under 40 seconds. The personal communication skills needed and expected from an applicant needs to be they need to be patient and calm for the important tasks which they will be carrying out. The qualities which an RNLI member requires is to remain composed and reassuring when dealing with different circumstances. RNLI crew members also need skills such as good team working skills. In order to get the task done as quickly and efficiently, you need to be able to help and listen to each other. Another skill crew members need is being able to use basic technology. The RNLI in each rescue use GPS, microphones, trackers, helmets slash headsets, radars and electronic navigation aids. Leadership skills are also required and being able to take priority of your specific role within the rescues, you also need to be good at decision making for the entire team. <laughs> for the recruitment of the RNLI, it's all about attracting, selecting and appointing the right sort of candidates suitable for the role within the company. To start with, the job recruitment process starts with the salary, contract type, hours, additional information, lifeguard region, location description, the closing date of the application form, the reference and the documents. This is the added documentation all applicants need to read. It begins with the job title, the grade, directorate and the job code. It then says how you help out in the RNLI and what your team is responsible for. Then applicants must read all key responsibilities as this gives them a heads up for the job role when it comes to important training. Then it goes on to say additional extras and responsibilities you will be asked to provide. It says other qualifications, the grades, behaviours which are expected by the RNLI which is presented in a table. Then tells us at the end of the document it says who the job is suitable for. Underneath the recruitment process the RNLI have added some key information all candidates must require before applying for the role. Our crew members need to be over 17 with permission from your parents or over 18 years old, be under 55 years old, inshore lifeboat or 65 all weather lifeboat, be physically fit, complete a health assessment including eyesight to ensure they meet all the health standards for the role, pass a probationary period that usually lasts for one year, be a team player and be expected for the rest of the crew, enjoy hard physical work, get on well with other people, communicate easily, obey orders when required to and being part of a lifeboat crew is a major commitment so they must be mindset ready. P3, describe the main physical and technological resources required in the operation of a selected organisation. Physical resources are the resources that RNI and LNI need to maintain in order to carry out rescues and specific duties. Technological resources are very important in the charity, otherwise they wouldn't be able to rescue lives as they wouldn't be able to get incoming calls and trackers on coastlines and navigate where about the crew and casualties are and wouldn't be able to save lives quickly.